Well, STEM, of course, stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So you got to like one of those. I believe you have to be really determined and passionate about what, you, what your major is. It kind of helped me feel a little more confident in what I want to do. Ever since middle school, I've always loved math. And I was like, well, I don't really want to be a math teacher, but I do know I like math and science, and what can I do with that? When I came to HCC, I didn't know what to do. I was interested in scientific field, but I didn't know what exactly should I be, you know, leaning towards. I was first thinking about doing some mechanical engineering. At some point, I was trying to do chemical engineering. At some point, I was trying to do chem uh, com computer. So. STEM helped me to actually really relocate myself and where should I be actually leaning towards. It's really important to, for me as um, a student to go to HCC first because it gives you a, a good experience about what college is like and also it gives you an experience about you know whether you like to, the major you're going into or no. I think HCC is a great place if you're thinking cost-effective way to get a great experience in education. And I've found that the smaller classroom setting and just the way that the teachers are here in general has been extremely helpful. Before STEM, I wasn't really part of any clubs or there wasn't many groups that I was associated with. And after I became a member of STEM, um, I felt more comfortable. So I actually joined uh, the astronomy club, um, their pre-medicine, pre-allied health club, and also the Hispanic club. Um, so that's something that kind of made me step out of my comfort zone, as you would say. When we went to the um, Chesapeake Bay Foundation, that was awesome because that was my first time canoeing. <laughs> so we did that, we got in the water, thank goodness we didn't topple over, that was fun. As being a STEM scholar, you get to also participate in the retreat that happens every summer before the classes, so that kind of gets you interacting with the, the STEM scholars that go on the retreat. We went to camp for, I think, three days. Uh, we would stay up late and play games, play cards, we had zip lining, and it was so much fun. I've actually been accepted for an internship at the National Institute of Standards and Technology for this summer, which if I hadn't joined the program, I wouldn't have necessarily known about these opportunities or even necessarily thought I could necessarily do them. One of our major field trips was going to the FDA, and we were actually allowed to go into the different labs and see what different scientists were working on in their projects. Um, so that was something that actually brought in my horizons with my career path, since my career path was always going to medical school and um, now going to the FDA. I'm more interested in the research side of different medicines and how they would affect us. I would say everything went smoothly because I got the AA. Well, my transfer went really smooth. Uh, I can say that all the classes that I took, they transferred very smoothly and I, don't, I do not need to repeat any of the classes. If someone's looking at the STEM Scholars program as something that they think they might want to do, I would just say definitely do it. To learn more, visit howardcc.edu slash stem.